But right now, they get to watch one of the best in the business, our last number two finisher to run. Well, he believes this is the year he will make history, and I'm not going to argue with him. He's one of the greatest ever to compete. This is his fourth time at Mount Midoriyama. He's a 34-year-old out of Santa Cruz, California. It's David Campbell. I've been training for Mount Midoriyama for about five years now, almost every day. Winning the whole thing, it's the goal. When I fell off the end of the cliffhanger, there's not really words to describe how I felt. David Campbell will become yes. the first person ever to complete the ultimate cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh, At that moment falling into the water, I thought that might have been my last chance ever. After that fall, David threw himself into his music and into his training, which takes place on the course he built in his brother's backyard. When I started out, it wasn't my intention to build this entire Ninja Warrior course. It just kind of evolved. I don't know if I'm obsessed exactly. I would say passionate. $500,000 would definitely have my life a boost in the right direction. Like, pretty much anything I want to do. I can conquer Mount Midoriyama. Well, no one comes to this competition with more expectations than David Campbell. To talk about performing on a big stage, there's Makoto Nagano, one of only three people ever to finish the entire course, and he's watching Campbell's run. Nagano knows this is the one guy who could soon join his elite company. That's true. He is the gold standard in this competition. He has gone further than any other American in the history of American Ninja Warrior. He's really revered by the other athletes, and David Campbell on the course. He's been sleeping during the daytime, training at night. He even did a small session on his backyard course in the middle of the night the other day just to get ready. Serious preparations. Well, no one trains harder than David. He even trains other competitors. Other athletes will take pilgrimages to Santa Cruz to learn from him in his backyard. And no problem so far for David Campbell as he has reached the jumping spider. Then we spoke to Makoto Nagano before, and he said that you cannot underestimate how much experience will help you out on this course. And he looked perfect through the jumping spider, sticks the landing and right onto the half pipe attack. Oh, a little stumble there. Sticks it clean. And he's onto the warped wall. He's got one of these at home. Oh, and he's having a flawless run. So close to making another trip to stage two, but the spinning bridge, so challenging. A stumble. David Campbell out on the spinning bridge. Johnny, what just happened? The spinning bridge has been a surprise all night. If you see here right on the takeoff, David actually caught his toe on the second ball, tried to recover, but his fate was sealed from that first step. Let's go to Angela, who's standing by with the shock and incredibly disappointed David Campbell. David, did you think that the spinning bridge was going to be the one to take you out? No, I didn't. I think I just maybe came into it a little slow. Maybe I should have stopped and taken a breath and really sprinted at it harder, maybe. You know, anything can happen. This is the way it goes. I'll be, you know, I'll be back. An unbelievable moment here at Mount Midoriyama. David Campbell, one of the most accomplished competitors in American Ninja Warrior history, is eliminated in stage one. And he joins a growing list of major upsets here tonight.